Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will solve this problem that appeared in JE 1995. So in this question we have a rectangular rigid fixed block that has a horizontal edge. A solid homogeneous cylinder of radius r is placed horizontally at rest. Its length parallel to the edge such that the axis of the cylinder and the edge of the block are in same vertical plane. There is sufficient friction present at the edge so that very small displacement causes the cylinder to roll off the edge without slipping. So basically this uh, cylinder is rolling about this horizontal edge. So we have to find the angle theta through which the cylinder rotates before it leaves the contact with the edge first. Okay, so let's begin. So let's say the cylinder center rotated by an angle of theta with the vertical. So clearly after rotating by an angle of theta, the center would have gained some velocity, let's say V, and the cylinder would have gained some angular velocity, let's say it is omega. Now if we try to draw the forces on the cylinder, they would clearly be mg. and now if we consider the moment at which the cylinder slips off this point, at that special instant, the normal reaction on the cylinder would become zero. So we can say the net force towards the point O, which would be mg cos theta, would be providing the necessary centripetal acceleration of the center of the cylinder, which would be mv squared by r. So from here we can get a relation between v and theta. So now let's con conserve energy between initial point and the final point. So we can say initial potential energy plus initial kinetic energy would be final potential energy plus final kinetic energy. So initially, let's say we take the zero datum as this horizontal line over here. So the initial potential energy would be simply mgr and the initial kinetic energy was zero. So now the center is at a height of r cos theta from that atom. So the final potential energy is mgr cos theta. Now point O is the instantaneous axis of rotation. So we can simply write the final kinetic energy as half i about instantaneous axis of rotation times omega square. The i about the instantaneous axis of rotation as this is a disk, its moment of inertia about the center is mr square by two. We have to add another mr square component to it. So it will be three by two mr square. And the omega, as it is pure rolling, we can write it as v divided by r, the whole square. And after solving this, you'll get the value of theta as cos inverse of four by seven. So this is the angle at which the cylinder leaves contact with this point O. So now we have to determine the speed of the center of mass. So that we can easily determine now because we determined up here the relation between v and theta. So v square is simply rg cos theta, which is four by seven. So the speed of the center of mass is simply square root of 4rg divided by 7 and that is the answer for the second question. Now we have to determine the ratio of translational to rotational kinetic energy of the cylinder when the center of mass is horizontal. So now they are talking about this case in which the center of mass becomes in line with this horizontal line. Now after this uh, cylinder has left the contact with this surface, it clearly has no torque about the center of mass which means the omega of this cylinder will not change, it will remain constant. So this will still have the same omega but the velocity of the center of mass would be now different, right? Because it has fallen through some distance, so its velocity is different now. Let's say it is V dash. Now we can again conserve energy. So initially the potential energy was mgr, kinetic energy was zero. Now the center of mass is in line with this datum level. So we can say the potential energy is zero and the kinetic energy would be half i omega square. i about the center is mr square by two. And the omega is simply this v divided by r, right? So I'm gonna write it as v by r whole square plus the kinetic energy of the center of mass, which would be half m v dash square, okay? So the translational kinetic energy is going to be a half m v dash square, which would simply be 6rg by 7 and the rotational kinetic energy at this instant is simply going to be half i which is mr square by 2 times omega square which is v square by r square. If you solve it you will get the rotational kinetic energy as rg by 7. Now they ask the ratio of translational kinetic energy to rotational kinetic energy and that is simply going to be 6 is to 1. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did do like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys.